AAA is 2727. Okay, so right now, um, I got a new favorite dinosaur. Well, it's not a dinosaur, so the Spinosaurus is technically, technically my favorite dinosaur still. But we're reacting to what if the Megalodon met with the strongest fit? Met what if the what if Megalodon met fish with strongest bite ever, which is the dunk. I don't know. I I can't really pronounce it. I'm just gonna call it the dunk. Give me a try. The Dunkleosis. Okay, so this guy, I remember him, I remember playing him on Hungry Shark, and he was just cool. And anyway, let's just let's just get into the video. Three, two, one, play. Welcome to another fight of the century. Yes. The first participant enters the ring. It's a megalodon. Oh. The shark lived 23 to 30 Bad boy. years ago. And okay, first off, I think, well, the size comparison. The Megalodon's gonna win because the Dunk is a way smaller than the Megalodon. Well, I'm just gonna put it there. I'm voting for the Megalodon, even though the Dunk is my favorite. Now it holds the title of the ultimate hunter of all times. Yes. The second fighter is in the ring. Oh, and look at that boy. The Dunkleosis. Say it again. Ago. And right now, it holds the title of the ultimate hunter of all times. Ultimate champion. The second fighter is in the ring. And it's the Dunkleosteus. The Dunkleosteus. 350 to 380 million years ago. Damn. Was the largest fish My boy, oh. The These creatures Probably met Obama. all over the world and arouse fear with their armored heads and mighty jaws. Oh, no, they're vicious. We're going to compare our fighters in several categories. In each of them, the winner will get one point. Okay. In the final round, these two sea monsters will face each other for the last time. Damn. And we'll find out who the real king of the sea world is. Okay, After okay. Popcorn and hot dogs, it's time for hot round dogs. one. I had a hot dog Science. today, actually. These days, the largest white sharks grow to be 20 feet long. The megalodon was more than twice that size. God damn. That's almost as long as a tennis court. The ancient shark's oh, fin oh. was larger than the average person. Damn, the boy! jaws were more than six feet wide. It would mean you could comfortably sprawl out inside the creature's mouth. Uh, I wouldn't do that. Time, you I wouldn't would do that. get anywhere near a shark the size of a big truck. And the meg might have been even bigger. Mm. The only remains of the ancient shark are its teeth and vertebrae. That's why scientists well, can only guess because, what its um, true size was. Now, to the next tiny. spider. Some species of Dunkleosteus were only three feet long. Oh, uh, yeah, that but sucks. But the largest ones could reach almost 29 Damn, feet. Damn, that's not as big, this but still. This fish was one of the that's, largest That'd be of fucking size, scary. Much bigger than many modern <laughs> Bigger than the Great White, I the think. the Megalodon is almost twice its size. Oh, shit. So, in this round... The Meg gets its first point. Ah, fuck. Opens the score. Come on, Dunk. We need you to come back to strong. The next category, and that's wait. Wait, oh, what well. are we waiting for? Wait, the Dunk oh, might win. Wait. Because the his bones are like... The shark can weigh as much as a small car. In this case, the Meg might be compared to two loaded cement trucks. Loaded. Tons. Jeez. An empty Boeing 737 weighs less no, than I the know. ancient Super Shark did. If you wanted to lift the Meg in the air, it would take as many as three CH-54 cargo helicopters. Mm. The heaviest part of the Dunkleosteus was its head you know because what? of its massive bones. Yeah, I know. It's strong boy. And its length would be more than one foot. The ancient fish okay. weighed okay. almost as much as an adult elephant. It was that's also still four pretty... times heavier than most modern sharks. Okay, okay, okay. that's something. That's times. something. And still... The Megalodon is more than ten God dang it! Dang the Megalodon is bloody! Another clear victory in this oh, round. Ah shit! We're not gonna win. We're not gonna win this. The next category is agility. How okay, I think that no, the dog's not gonna win this. Top speed was eleven miles per hour. The dog is a fat, low, small boy, no a chunky little it bugger. It's hard for the shark to move its body, huge and bulky. For comparison, much smaller modern white sharks can travel at 34 miles per hour. Okay. The fastest human can swim at almost 5 miles per hour. Oh my, which that's means so embarrassing. That is embarrassing. From the megalodon in the water. But the ancient shark had trouble turning. It's more yeah, no shit. could be compared to a large cargo plane in the sky. 
The okay, let's go, Dunk. With all that heavy armor on its head, had perfect protection from all Oh, kinds but of it enemies. was slow. That's why it didn't need to be a good swimmer to oh. get away from danger. Dang it. Besides, it was the biggest fish in the ocean. Yeah, it was. It had nothing to Back be in the day. Of. Still, the creature was smaller than the meg. It's relatively compact size, plus agile lower fins and strong tail. It had nothing Oops. to be afraid of. Still, the creature was smaller than the meg. It's relatively compact size, plus agile lower fins and strong tail. Made the Dunkleosteus. What? <laughs> I got. Wait. Let me just. Let me do this. Okay. Speedier than the ancient shark. Of course, I get an ad when I do that. Like, bro. My snap, like, I'm popular on Snapchat. I get, like, two snaps a day. I'm really popular. Okay, let's skip the video. So, in this round, Dunn gets its first point. The score oh, let's go! One in favor of the Megalodon. Ah, but we're, we're coming back, coming through. Now we'll see what our participants but can use to the fight bite. each other. Bite. Round four. Bite. Fighting tools. The Meg's teeth were oh, almost mate, as we long might as lose your this. forearm. Some of the largest teeth that ever existed. They were triangular in shape and razor sharp to pierce through whales' thick skin. Triangle, stronger had shape. Five rows of teeth with around 50 teeth in each row. Oh, 250 shit. in total. Ah, oh, shit. Math, the Meg also had its teeth changed throughout its life. Damn. Still like a barber. For his teeth. For his teeth. Bottom of the ocean. The Dunkleosteus had no teeth whatsoever. Oh, yeah, he had a beak. Its jaws were formed from long, bony plates. They were incredibly sharp oh, and yes, shaped they were. into long, slicing edges. The coolest thing was that these edges could self-sharpen. Oh. The fish's jaw muscles were that's, incredibly well, that's cool. strong. They allowed the creature to open its mouth in 20 milliseconds. Time Damn! Up. With the jaw like that, Dunn oh. had one of the You're dead and you won't be able to see it. Earth. It's strange. What the, I can't imagine that. To that of the Mississippian alligator. For its alligator. surprisingly <laughs> hefty bite, Dunkleosteus gets another. Oh point. my god, we're the coming back. Becomes tied at two to two. Tied. Now, let's Bad. see which of our contestants is more popular. Oh, come the most on. Famous shark in the world. It's probably the most it famous dinosaur. Only in Second many most. Movies and comics, but also in Fisher stories all over this planet. Every time someone saw a large shadow lurking near they their thought boat, it was a megalodon. they were afraid they'd see the biggest shark on Earth. Some people think that megalodons are still alive. Yeah, they, they got a lot of proof. I uh, mean, not really. Surface, Actually, yeah, they do. They example, got a video of it. Have you guys seen that video of a, like a, it's like a green shark? You know those sharks that are blind and live in like Antarctica? They've seen like a big one in a Mariana Trench. It's crazy. But to feed, 9, 10, 11, 9, 10, 11, 12. The shark would have to eat constantly, like me. And if this okay. myth was true, you'd okay. definitely see a megalodon close to the surface one day. But yep. it's never happened, so you can sleep easy. Even though the Dunkleosteus isn't that well known, yeah. it still deserves respect. Yes. It lived earlier than the first dinosaurs and was the largest predator of its time. Oh, I thought that thing. Oh. When archaeologists first found the remains of Hungry the Hungry Shark did this guy a favor. They were shot. They called the creature the Terrible Fish. The Terrible and Fish? They gave it a scientific name years later. Well, even though this round the doesn't terrible change fish. the count, the Megalodon gets its People's Choice Award. Let's go! And now, the final stage. What is it? Fighting skills. Oh, my, my bro. My, God dang it, I might have to skip. I'm just going to skip it. Just going to skip it. Just going to skip it. Who wins? Who wins? What's this? The collision. As the Meg turns around, the Dunkleosteus gets a chance to grab the shark okay. by the tail. Okay, yeah. In a split second. Its right. powerful jaws close on the shark's fin. I can move, can move. The fish's bony plates are too short to bite through the Meg's thick skin. Uh, the Megalodon oh, fuck, begins dang it. to twist and wag its powerful tail no. for a moment. The Megalodon no. uses time to turn around. A couple of seconds later, the massive shark opens its huge jaw and ends the fight with one bite. So oh, today, that sucks. Megalodon proves once again that it's worthy God of dang it, fuck you, Megalodon. I don't care. I don't care. That dunk is still God tier. God tier, you tell. You, you hear me? You hear me, bro? You hear me?